Hello, chemistry students. Today, we will be performing the synthesis of substituted chalcones experiment. In this experiment, we will prepare a substituted chalcone using the 4-methyl acetophenone product from the Friedel-Crafts acylation experiment and 3-nitrobenzaldehyde, a substituted benzaldehyde. Before you begin the experiment, you should determine the structure of the condensation product that you expect to be formed in the reaction and the molecular formula of that product. Let's get started. To begin, we will pre-weigh a stoppered 50 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. The mass of the pre-weighed stoppered flask is 40.2101 grams. We next need to add approximately 0 0.005 moles of the 4-methyl acetophenone product from the Friedel-Crafts acylation experiment to the pre-weighed Erlenmeyer flask. If you don't have enough of the 4-methyl acetophenone product or your product's purity was questionable, use the stock 4-methyl acetophenone to begin your experiment. The mass of the pre-weighed flask plus the 4-methyl acetophenone is 40.9027 grams. We next need to add approximately 0 0.005 moles of the substituted benzaldehyde, 3-nitrobenzaldehyde, to the 4-methyl acetophenone in the pre-weighed flask. The mass of 3-nitrobenzaldehyde that we will be using is 0 0.7568 grams. I've added the 3 nitrobenzaldehyde to the 4 methyl acetophenone in the flask, and we will next add 4 milliliters of 95% ethanol and a magnetic stir bar to the flask and stir the reagents to dissolve any solids that may be present. It may be necessary to warm the mixture to dissolve the solids. If this is necessary, the solution should be cooled to room temperature before proceeding to the next step. We will next add 0.5 milliliters of 15 molar sodium hydroxide solution to the mixture in the flask and stir until a precipitate forms. After a solid precipitate has formed, we will next add 10 milliliters of ice cold deionized water to the mixture in the flask and stir with a micro spatula to break up the solid mass. We will then transfer the mixture to a small beaker using an additional five milliliters of ice cold water. We will then stir the precipitate to break it up. We will next collect the crude product by vacuum filtration with a Hirsch funnel and use ice cold deionized water to aid in the transfer and the washing of the product. We will then air dry the crude product for 30 minutes. After drying for 30 minutes, we will next determine the mass of the crude product. The mass of the crude product is 1.2677 grams. I've transferred the crude chalcone product to a 50 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask, and we will next recrystallize the chalcone using a minimum amount of boiling hot 95% ethanol. Once the chalcone has completely dissolved in the minimum amount of boiling hot 95% ethanol, we will remove the chalcone from the heat and allow it to recrystallize as it cools. 
we will complete the crystallization process by placing the chalcone in an ice water bath. After crystallization is complete, we will collect the recrystallized substituted chalcone crystals by vacuum filtration with a Hirsch funnel, and we will use ice cold 95% ethanol to aid in the transfer and the washing of our crystals. While our crystals continue to dry, we will next pre-weigh a watch glass. The mass of the pre-weighed watch glass is 35.4472 grams. We will next collect the substituted chalcone on the pre-weighed watch glass and dry in an 80 degrees Celsius oven for 10 minutes. After drying, the mass of the substituted chalcone product is 36.4218 grams. We will now perform a melting point determination of the substituted chalcone product. Okay, students, you can now calculate the percent yield, determine the melting point, and analyze the infrared spectrum of our substituted chalcone product. Remember, before you can calculate the percent yield, you first need to determine the structure and the molecular formula of the substituted chalcone product. This concludes the synthesis of substituted chalcones experiment. Thank you for joining me for this laboratory.